What's going on guys, Little guys here, welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video we have 150k squad builders. So if you got the game for Christmas um, or you just sold your team for team of the year, I got a 100k meta squad that you can use that I'm actually been using from my road to division 10 into the elite division series on my, one of my accounts. So I can tell you for a fact that this team is very, very good. Um, before I want to start, I want to say this video is sponsored by the One Football app, your one stop shop for all football information, transfer news. We all know transfer news season, especially around January time, and all the fixtures, all information, latest updates. All information was all on one football app. You can scan the QR code just below my webcam over here and you can actually download the app for free, or you can click on the link down below in the description. Both links do support my channel, One Football app. The best service for all football information. Um, but going into the squad with now, I'm going to say this with a grain of salt, okay? I'm going to put some players in, and some of you are going to get angry with me, okay? But I'm going to tell you these are players that A, that are in the budget, and B, there's no one else that I can say that are meta that are under the price. It's important that I say this because a lot of people just say, oh, yeah, you keep making very similar squad builders. Um, but the truth is, I only put meta players in. And if I wanted to do this for fun, I might put a few players in like last time in last week's squad, but then everyone got upset. So you can't win. Um, Tigatito goes in straight away. Um, I'm using him on, on both accounts. A top tier player. I, don't, I genuinely think he's probably the best card in the game for 15k. I don't think for even 100k you can get a better card than him. I think there's not, not even for 100k. The best card in the game below below 100k. I think he's probably edges it just above Sun, even for me. Five star, five star, top tier stats. You put a hundred. You're talking about one of the best players uh, on the cheaper end on the game. And I always try to say the cheap Neymar. So if you can't afford Neymar, and of course with the 100k budget, how can you? Now, for the right back, unfortunately for chemistry, we'll have to go for Manafa. Makana, I'm pretty sure you guys will know what's probably going on here. Manafa, you have to put him in. Put him in the shadow, he's completely fine. He gets the job done. He's not perfect, um, but he gets the job done, um, to be honest. I'm just too bearing in mind for the L1 triggers, but that's more of the defensive ability. Left mid, can, can you guess who's going in, guys? Can, can, can you guess? Uh, it's Sun. Um, again, for performance, for price, there isn't now. Listen, there's Yota, but I'm looking right now on the side of my screen, okay? And I'm, I'm looking. There's literally no one in the game. Now, Sun costs about 24k now. There is literally no left mids in the entire game that are better than Sun for 25k. There's not one. And this is the problem why I keep going back to Sun because he's just too good. And there is no other players that realistically has 86 agility, 88 finishing, 88 shot power, 89 long shots, and 89 composure, 90 sprint speed. I don't even think there's even top tier cars, par the Mbappes, etc. Et that even have those stats as well. So definitely, if we're talking about under 100k, he has to go into a team. No one else really, in my opinion, comes close. I don't think there's any a, a price performance better card there. And then uh, for the left back, unfortunately, again... We're going to end up going Regalon. You don't have to, um, but we ended up putting Regalon in because I used him. I trust him. I think he's a fantastic card. I mean, probably if you want to get uh, Sun on 8, but I always say if you're putting your strike in your team, try to get him on the most possible chemistry. You can go for Freddy Lundberg if you really, really don't like Sun. Um, but again, that's very much a downgrade. Um, then we go over to the attack. Now, it's going to be similar to one that you've already seen. We're going to go with, um, in my opinion, the best gold card center mid in the game without a shadow of a doubt. And that is Lorente. And to, to give you an understanding about how good this guy is, I've made, I don't know how many teams since I got this Lorente card. I keep putting him back into my team because he's that good. I cannot explain it to you. This guy is the best gold card. Do you know what? I have Entebo in my team. I've got all these new cards, right? This guy is better than him. He's just too good. I mean, he's just, I think it's his pace, but he's got the agility so he can dribble as well. But again, a top, top tier card. He's got the pace, the dribbling, the passing, defending, and he can also go forward as well and he can shoot. Um, again, you're talking about maybe on a Serie A level, there's some pretty good cards there. But I'll be honest, in terms of midfield, I would definitely want Lorente in my team. If I have any team under a million coins, Lorente is definitely going in. Uh, and then to uh, link it together, we've got Morientes. Now, normally we'd go with... Um, we go with the other um, other hero cards in uh, Liga Santander, but 
Morientes, to be honest, um, I think he's quite a steal. You're talking about just under 30k now, 4 star, 4 star, 6 1, if you like the taller players. But I think he's got really good finishing, shot power, and long shot stats. A very good attacking stats for a winger. Now, he's got the strength as well. So, if you're looking for someone that's quite an aggressive player that can also head the ball, this is a good guy. Now, we're actually going to play this guy on the wings. So we're going to put a hunt on him. But the 4 star, 4 star, and 4 chemistry, 95 sprint speed, he's actually not a bad card. He might feel a bit clunky ish. That's the only downside. But he's still got 70. 77 and 74 agility and balance so he's not going to be the worst of players but i think as a wing it's completely fine um, i was looking towards one card as mane unfortunately mane i was looking at his price i know he went around about um he went around about 35k but the problem is it takes this price of this team a bit too expensive but i'll explain you some different variations of how we can get these cards in like mane as well and um, then we're going with mbaba a new card um, one of the new wild cards that came out um, I'll be honest, I would have gone with just Dembele here, but uh, if you have the money, just go with this guy. Um, I think he's a very, very good winger. Again, high, high, 5'8". Um, put a hunt around him. He's already got the GL team balance. He's got very good shot power, long shots, and finishing. You just put a hunt around him, and you've got one of the best wingers, honestly, in the game that you can actually get. Very, very good GL team balance as well. Um, and I would say perfect winger. Now, centre mid. Now, I just when I made this team, I said, look, if I, if I want to give out a 100k team, that I know I give out to the masses that were guaranteed work. I know there's two players that have to go in there without a shirt, and that's Onyeka, and that is um, Lorente. So they're both so good. Now, this Onyeka card, I need to explain something to you guys with this Onyeka card, right? This Onyeka card, I think Lorente and him are the best combination in the game. Par like. I would say he's better than Kante, to be honest, but I would say par the Vieira, the Hullets, of course, no one's going to say they're that level, but I would say under a million coins. I can't imagine. These are two cards I just can't get rid of. Onyeka and Lorente just keep staying in my team. You can see the amount of games they played. With the shadow, this guy is perfect. He's like Kante, but taller. He's got a high, high work rate, so you can actually go forward. And he's also got very good agility and balance, uh, whereas I think Kante lacks on the agility. He has very high balance. So a top tier card, and that is why it's done this way. It has to be done this way because I need to get both Lorente and I need to get Onyeka into the team. Um, if we go along to the back, we've gone with again uh, full backs and the two best cent uh, full back duos. And I just tell you how I know they're so good because I keep using them. And if, and if anyone that thinks that these guys are not good, how come I'm using them? And now everyone, I'm just laughing because um, everyone keeps saying on these cards, but the truth is, all you need is walking around a sack. I still use these guys in my main team. <laughs> I use these guys in the back because I can't find anyone better than them. Yes, you have the Tierneys. The Cornets, maybe even the Semedos, but 400 games and 220 games from Wambasaka and Walker, respectively. Top tier. Wambasaka hasn't left my team since I got him on the first day. He's that good. Um, don't listen to any of these fairies, any of these unicorns that are telling you that they don't work in centre back. I, I don't know, like, I don't know who keeps convincing this, but um, whoever is doing that, I'm running some great sabotage campaign that I can very much assure you. Um, then we goalkeeper, we go with Edison. Now, that is the team. Um, I will show you how you get chemistry now, okay? So let's have a look, okay? So this is the team. Now you're going to be like, whoa, 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 190k. Now it's true, it is expensive, but look, don't worry. I'll tell you how to bring this team down. If you want to bring this team down, I would say here, just get a Correa. Bam. Dembele. Bam. And it's fine. It's about 130. It'll probably go down a bit more. That would get the job done. That is all that you need. If you really want to bring it down more, you can probably go ahead and get Mendy and you can dash him here or you can get Pope wherever you want. That puts it to 100k exactly, okay? That's number one. Number two you can do is you can get rid of Onyek and put Valverde here, which I wouldn't suggest, and you can get Edison in goal. And that way, um, Lorente and Correa get the chemistry. If you've got any other money, you can put... Um, um, if, if you do have any other any other additional coins, you can put more re-enters there if you really, really want to. Um, but I'll be honest, this team as it is, is completely fine. But if you really uh, are worrying about the chemistry, you something like that and you get everyone on 10 chemistry. Um, but if it was up to me and it was my choice, it would definitely be on Yekka here. I would push to get Edison, but if you can't, you can get Mendy. It's not the end of the world. Uh, most goalkeepers are trash in this game anyway. And um, you can leave, leave it like this. Or if you want to bring it down to the budget even more, you could put Correa in. And I think you got one of the best cards in the game. Now, how does it look like in terms of chem As you can see, 100 chemistry. Well, 
if I do this, um, you, can, you can put it in. It's like a 98. If you really, really care about chemistry, you can get someone like Isaac here instead if you really want to just get the numbers up and get it for pure chemistry because, of course, Isaac has a five-star weak foot as well. Lacks the balance, but that's why I don't put him in. So you can do that as well. So you have a lot of options, but the Correa... Um, Lorente, Dembele and Onyeka combination is actually very affordable but no matter what anyone else tells you these two cards are the best CDM and centre mid in the game I still use them in my team that's how you know they're that good because I still use them as soon as they came out I knew they'd be the two best cards in the game um, and I'm pretty sure you've heard about Lorente even a pro has been raving on about this guy so how does it look like in the game so if we're looking for a typical 4-2-3-1 uh, I would put you got a choice here. Take a Tito and Cam or Son. I would go like this. Uh, you can buy like second. And if you want, you can buy subs. So if, if you're really against having, uh, you want better left backs, I bet just sub them on um, if you really, really want to. But, you know, you can, of course, just buy the coins. But it's up to you. I mean, not buy the coins. Buy the cards with the coins, should I say. Um, but it's up to you um, in terms of that. But that's the 4 2 3 one. I'd realistically leave him here because he's 5 star, 5 star. But you can always swap it around like that, to be honest. Um, Mustavoy, I think, has a five-star weak foot, but we don't have him in. But you can put him in there if you really, really want the five-star weak foot. But he's a bit slow. Um, if we go over to the 4-4-2, which I think this where the formation really will excel. Um, you put these guys in midfield. These guys can hold midfield together. It doesn't matter what anyone else, again, what anyone else tells you. I have them in 4-4-2s. Four They're completely fine. That would be the class setup for the 442. And the reason why I keep going about this is because there's a lot of misinformation in this community. You know? And for some reason, I don't know, maybe people are just um, either trying to sabotage the community for easy wins, or I don't even know. But uh, just be careful what advice you take online, is what I would say. Um, if we go to the four, um, it's, it's two, two formation I want to show you. The 4 and 2 on 2, um, I'll show you in a second, because that'll be similar for the 4 uh, four, four three one two 2, should I say. Um, what I will do here is I'll put Wamba second in the middle. I'll drop Regulon there, move Regulon like this, and then I'll put Regulon on the left-hand side. Sub off Regulon for anyone. Um, you could legit put any winger there. Go get Atal, the gold card Atal, 700 coins. You can put him in as left-back over there. And then what you do is move him over there. And um, what we're going to do is, the way that I would realistically do it, this is the way that I will do it. So yeah, so just sub someone Atal, so anyone for tough on Manafa. And then what I will do is I'll put Morientes as a winger just because he has the high medium and he's got the pace. Um, and I'd prefer the high, high cam with a good agility team balance as that perfect cam to dribble the ball in behind. That would be the 3-5-2. If you are playing my 4-1-2-1-2 second variation or you are playing um, my 4-3-1-2, four, uh, four, four, um, what you can do is you do it like this now. If you're going to play three centre mids or whatever you're going to do, it doesn't matter. Onyeka goes in CDM if it's a 4 1 2 2 second variation, or the 4 1 3 2, Onyeka goes in the centre. And then what I'll do is I'll put these guys on the side, like that. And then that's the way it will line up in the game, like that. And then you can see you've got Sun, and you've got Tekatita, and you've got him and Cam. And to be honest, this guy is actually not a bad box to box midfielder. Don't look at the defensive stats too much because don't forget, in my formation, these guys are running in, attacking anyway. So it's not that important. Um, and that is the 4 one 2 one 2 second variation. And I think lastly, I think people have just been asking about the 4-3-3. Um, it doesn't really matter too much with the 4-3-3. But if it was up to me, I would probably say either Sun or Tecatito and Strike is up to you what you prefer. And I would do something like this. That's the way that I'll do it. And I'll put, of course, him over there. i leave it like that. What you can do also is, is you can put him in like that. And that's one option. Or you can put Sun over there. And you can put Sun on stay forward, and that way you got two centre mids and you got the wingers. If you are playing a 4-3-2-1, uh, you just put him, 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 and striker. That's pretty much it. So I can't do it for all formations. You know, feel free to adapt it as you want to, because I just wanted to show you the the base I've done that one down already. Um, the base layout. So you can do here, you can do Sun there. Just drop any one of these guys in midfield, and there you go. Um, but that is um, the 100k team squad builder up to 150k if you got the money for it Hope you enjoyed it. If you got about 150k I'll suggest one of my other squad builders anyway, but if you want to build it up That's one way you can do it, but it's the 100k squad builder. Thanks for watching guys. Take these of course. I'll catch you next time. Peace out